In this video, I'm going to look at finding the median of this frequency table. Now, with this frequency table, we have group data, so we can't just simply get our cumulative frequency table and use our median location formula. We need to create up an ogive for this. So to create up our ogive, what we need to do is we still need our cumulative frequency column. So we'll make up our cumulative frequency column. So cumulative cumulative frequency and we'll use it to make up our ogive. So the cumulative frequency is just a running total of these of our frequencies as we go down. So we start off with our first one which is just 5, 5 plus 7, so we add those two, gives me 12, 12 plus 10, gives me 22, 22 plus 12 gives me 34, make that a little neater, 34, 34 plus 8 gives 42, and 42 plus 3 makes 45, and remember we know this works because this value came out the same as our sum of our frequencies as it should, considering we're adding up our frequencies. So now we can start creating our ogive. Now our ogive, remember, is a plot of our class to our cumulative frequency. So we're going to have our vertical axis and our horizontal axis. We can make it a bit more horizontal. There we go. And we want to plot our class interval values from 60 to 120 on our horizontal axis. So we're going to have 60 and then 70, then 80, make that one a bit more accurate, 90, 100, uh, what do we want next, 110, and then follow that up by 120. So I didn't quite need so much of my horizontal axis. Okay, so then we go up for our cumulative frequency on our vertical axis. Um, we need to go all the way up to 45, so I'm going to go up in fives. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, we're almost there, just about out of space, and 45. Okay, now I can go and plot my points from my cumulative frequency on this graph. So my first point is going to be at 5 of my cumulative frequency, but what value do we want to plot it on down here? So remember to when we're plotting our ogives, we want to plot um, the x-axis as the right-hand values, a maximum value of our class interval. So we want our first one's going to be 70 and 5, then we're going to have 80 and 12, 90 and 22, um, 134, 110 and 42 and 120 and 45. Okay, now we need to make sure that this ogive touches the x-axis and that's what we use this value for, so the 60, that's why I still put it in there, it goes down there at zero. Okay, then all we need to do to get our ogive is join these together with this nice smooth line. So we don't want to really go straight from point to point. We want to curve our way through our points, creating a nice smooth curve. There we go. So that's the ogive. So this is our cumulative frequency. I'm just going to do CF. And this is my class. And, or score, whichever way we want to think about it. So, to find our median for this, we need to know the percentage values. 
and to get the percentage values all we need to do is create up another axis so I'll put up another vertical axis and this is going to be percentage and we work out our percentage by our maximum point the last point that we did at 45 make that a little a bit more accurate 45 is a hundred percent halfway which is half of 45 which is 22 and a half is our 50% and then if we're interested we can also add in our other values of say 25 and 75 and anything else in between these are really all we need for when dealing with statistics because our medians at 50% so then we'll use that and then all we need to do for it to find our median is to go across um, horizontally from 50 percent getting as accurate as I can and then go down to where I touch my horizontal axis and that gives me my median of around about 90 so my median is approximately 90. So there we have it. To create a, to get the median from a grouped data table, we need to create up our cumulative frequency column, make up an ogive, which is a plot of that cumulative frequency, add on a second axis for percentage, and then use that to go from 50% and get our median.